Oh, what a masculine thing to do, huh? Actually, it smells really beautiful. <laughs> Mm -hmm. oh. oh my goodness, hello, hello, hello. People of the internet, YouTube, I feel like when I check out for a week, it feels like a really, really long time, but time really hasn't been linear lately for me, so taking a week off from doing constant going and taking some time to not do anything was actually really, really, really nice. I kind of got lost in cannabis. That's actually the reason why I haven't been posting anything on the internet. After I got everything to my sister's house in Washington, I came back to Vegas. I'm like, oh, finally, finally, finally I could relax. So decided to smoke a little pot, play some video games, and I ended up doing it for a week. <laughs> Felt like I was in my, my early 20s and not knowing what the hell I was doing with my life. Blood in the days pass away, which was, it was necessary because my tattoo was healing and my tattoo artist said that I, I couldn't do any strenuous sweating activity for at least two weeks. It's been eight days since I got the tattoo done and I just <laughs> finished a big room class. I'm in Utah, by the way. I was able to do some light workouts at the gym and I was also uh, doing some self-practice at home, but I didn't get my, my daily ego death, my daily sweaty torture chamber. So it was, uh, I could feel the lethargy like setting in as I was not practicing Bikram and constantly smoking cannabis. It was just like a recipe for lazy days. I feel like I've shared this before in the vlogs. Every time I use cannabis, I just get so um, self-conscious and insecure and I worry about what other people think and then introvert, I like, I turn into like a hermit and I don't want anyone to look at me or talk to me or anything like that. It's really interesting to observe. I smoked cannabis for such a long period of my life, 18 or 19 to like 28. And then I smoked cigarettes for like 12 years from like 17 to man till I was like 30. I'm really happy that my relationship now with all these things is like so much better and I used to think I had like an addictive personality with those kind of things. I feel for sure that I have it under control because I can step away from it and not feel like something is missing from my life. Psychological withdrawal is like the most difficult part. So yeah, I was just letting my tattoo heal. I was hanging out with Aaron, doing light gym sessions, really taking time to like relax. Every day the past five weeks has been non-stop. So just taking the time to chill was so necessary. Got to Utah last night. I'm staying with my friends Ken and Ray. I'm excited for you guys to meet them. And they have two dogs and two cats and they're so freaking cute. And they have such a nice home that they just moved into. And yeah, just really excited. I'm gonna take some really cute photos for them as like an energetic exchange. Um, I feel more back to myself. Cannabis, it's just like, it's such a, po it's, it's a medicine, right? It's a plant that grows out of the ground. Mother Earth has given it to us. It has these like consciousness shifting properties because it's supposed to help us. We're not supposed to abuse it. When you're smoking it every day, constantly, mindlessly, unconsciously, with no like real intent, then you can get like lost in the haze. Like it's like a very cloudy, dark, sometimes dark place. But if you do it with intention and you honor it and you have a reason and it's ceremonious, it's, a, it's like a really beautiful plant. I just, uh, it's really easy to like kind of get sucked into that, to that, that collective unconscious. Yeah, it feels, I feel like, like such a more clear mind now. I feel a lot better. I, I wanted to give you guys updates, but I don't want to jabber all throughout this whole vlog. So let's go, um, let's go to Whole Foods. <laughs> it's not really anything new. Nothing new here in Gabe's life. Uh, same old thing, just, you know, learning and figuring things out more each time along the way. <laughs> Kale chips are on sale. I just want to like take the whole freaking shelf. Because normally it's like five dollars, and now they're two for six thirty. Damn you, Whole Foods. Damn. There's too much good stuff. Oh my gosh, these protein bars are like my favorite thing in the world right now. I'm gonna miss these so much when I leave America. Let's see if I can bring like a case of them to Thailand. Vegan performance protein, 20 grams of plant protein. Garden of Life is just such a good brand, and I'm just really happy with this stuff. Fuck man. Everything, all my favorite things are on sale. All the Remedy drinks, all the Rebel drinks, everything, oh my God. I think they knew that I was coming or something. Oh, they got Hanuman drinks. So thankful for Ken and Ray for hosting me. Look at this beautiful room that I have all to myself. 
this beautiful space. So grateful for all the support and all the wonderful friends I have in my life. Everyone's just so, I feel so welcome in everyone's home. My daily gratitude practice. So thankful for everyone. All the wonderful people in my life that host me and give me a place to stay. It's good to have good, good real friends. That's what my dad, my father instilled that within me a long time ago. It just said like always be a good friend and have really good friends. They'll get you through this life so much more smoothly when you have support and, and wonderful people to be there for you. Hi Ava, how you doing? How you doing? Can you explain this device to me? Your new centerpiece that Ken is so excited about? This is our yeah. new centerpiece. <laughs> I don't know what Ken's talking about because actually it's not new. It's always been here. So I don't know what you're talking about. You agreed. We, we bought the house with this here. Okay. <laughs> this was the selling piece. <laughs> so Smush's plants are all out of reach, which is devastating because he poisoned him. Well, I poisoned him. <laughs> it wasn't your fault. Honest. Come on. Bottom is in case he needs to scratch that itch, if you know what I mean. Because we're like right here. Until he gets used to it, here it stays. Then we'll move it to the cat room. How do you feel about that, Ken? I just I'm spent $20 denial. on Amazon on it. I'm, I'm in denial. Let's go pump it out. Yeah. <laughs> Ray, do you want to come get shredded? <laughs> uh, no. That's a hard no. It's been a very exhausting day so far, so I'm just really brave. Are you just hanging out with little Chloe? Can we introduce Chloe to the vlog? Um, yes. This is Clover Chloe. Show him your snaggle. Show him your snaggle, too. This is the most endearing part of her. <laughs> yes. And, and she this? is 12. And this is Miss Ava, who's just a baby. My Aww, youngest daughter. Only baby. two. I but love you Chloe. Like, send me some of your shredding vibes. Yeah. Particularly Chloe and I, we're like get, oh, getting a little lazy, I think. <laughs> Are we, Clover? We'll motivate you. Yeah. But sign me up for yoga. So yeah, yeah. Okay, here, cool. Sure. Cool. All right, here at Vasa, getting our shred on. You ready to die? All right, let's go, Ken. Yep. Come sideways. Yep. Stretch the pecs. Bring it in. Go. Out of boy. It's just straight up. Good. Perfect. Bring him closer at the top. Like squeeze at the end. Yeah, right there. Yeah. Time for the infamous bench press. How you feeling, Ken? Solid. Solid. You got it. One, two, three. Go. Just six, okay? Yep. On your own. Five. This is one of the worst exercises for biceps called the crazy eight. We're going to pass it back and forth to each other. Okay. So I'll do one, and then you'll do one. Okay. We're going to go all the way up to eight, and then all the way back down. Seven. Yep. Six. Lower. 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 Five. Good. Just focus, man. Three. Your body can do it. <laughs> Wait till tomorrow. You won't be able to sit on the toilet. <laughs> Beast mode on. You got energy for one more exercise? It's not a question. <laughs> Call it a wrap. We got some uh, delicious plant-based protein bars, and Ken is not able to walk. <laughs> you killed it. <laughs> okay, so after a very masculine bodybuilding activity, we take the time to smell the flowers. <laughs> Ken's got some beautiful roses in the back here. Tell us what's going on. They each have their own unique color and smell, while oh some God. are like extremely fruity, others are just like. I don't know how to describe it, like warm. It's just their variations are so beautiful. Yeah. With the contrast of the thorns, like, oh, God, I just... I'm obsessed with roses since I was little because my mom's maiden name is Rose. What a masculine thing to do, huh? Actually, it smells really beautiful. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, legs. <laughs> legs not working. This one, smell that. That one's... Whoa. Like... This is like a citrus hybrid or something. Whoa. Isn't that one crazy? Yeah, they're all really different. Yeah. It's insane. Damn. Thank you for existing. Time to end the vlog. Ken, what are we doing tomorrow? We are doing pictures. Yeah, they're really cute on the internet. So I'm gonna take some really choice professional photos for them tomorrow. So the internet can just oogle at their cuteness. And then we're gonna do some climbing. And then uh, what else are we doing? Sunday polar plunge and all these other fun activities. So tell them to subscribe, Ken. Subscribe. Like and subscribe. <laughs> like and subscribe. We'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs>